I made a YouTube video last week and I really enjoyed myself. I was like headphones on, editing the video, feeling great. I thought, let's make a video about my EP and how I made it. If you're an independent artist and you are thinking about releasing music and you want to know how, then this might be interesting. Or if you like my music and maybe you just want to hear some behind the scenes of how it was made. I don't know what to call this video. <laughs> um, how I made an EP with almost no money or skills. Dry land has always been there. I've already realized there's lots of things I did that I would do so differently now. Also, I am not a producer. <laughs> I've never been a producer. I'm very much self-taught, so you shouldn't take production advice from me. This is a first I released my EP in March this year. It's called Seconds. And I did it all by myself. Um, and I spent almost nothing on it. The EP has five tracks and I made it all in this room, in my bedroom. So let's begin and I'll take you through how I made it. In terms of equipment, um, everything, that is currently on my Spotify. So my first two tracks and seconds was recorded with this. I've had this for many years and I used to use it in my YouTube videos. It's not an expensive microphone. It's tiny, it's so light, you can carry it around. It's definitely not supposed to be used for um, USB recording or like recording into a program. It's supposed to be a handheld mic with a battery that you take around. Um, but I've always used it for recording um, like as a USB mic and it works, it, it, it works. You do not need a an amazing mic to record something good. What I will say is this definitely worked well for me because my songs are very like close and quiet. So this little mic was great because the um, like input level is quite low or at least like I would make it quite low. So when you're singing really close, to it, I think it like kind of works. Having said that, I now do have a new mic, so. I also used GarageBand. I now do have Logic and it's expensive and I love it, but again, I used GarageBand to make my whole EP. That's kind of all the equipment I used. This keyboard, I plugged in to GarageBand and then there's also clarinet on the EP and obviously my ukulele, which I just recorded with this. I don't even have a stand for this. I would just like balance it on stuff. When I actually was recording, I sat under my desk and put pillows everywhere and like blankets to kind of create like a booth. Basically you want the sound that you are recording to be as like dead as possible because it then means that when like you have more control over like how you're gonna make it sound nice. <laughs> this is a first thing. Okay, I feel like we should dive into looking at the files on GarageBand. Let's start with Infinite Supply. But there's an infinite supply of strength in the world. Um, this one I recorded the whole like main uke and voice together. And I also recorded it without a click. I think because when I recorded this, I didn't intend it for it to go anywhere. So <laughs> these two tracks are, um, the like videos and clips that I added in, you can see them there. And then everything down here is harmonies. I'm a big fan of harmonies and I'm a big fan of layered vocals. I think that might be a little t trick to make a shit might sound better is um, layering vocals and kind of like leaning into the homemade sound. All I ever do with my vocals is pretty much put it on this little effect called natural vocal. I still do that now on Logic. I do need to sit down and learn how to EQ vocals correctly, but this is like the cheat. I just do this. I personally like this one, but obviously you can like look through all the presets and stuff. I feel embarrassed like admitting that I don't know anything, but I think it's also nice. It looks like I didn't do anything with the talking bits, but then all the harmonies. Oh, these are on classic vocal. Okay, for my harmonies, I've gone for three tracks for each harmony. So you can see that the way I've organized it, I have four different harmony lines. I pan one to the left, one to the right, one to the middle, and then I turn them all down to minus 15, which is so quiet. But since I have so many of them, so one A, one B, and one C will all be me 
singing the same line but if you pan it in different directions it just like sounds really nice um i didn't add any effects to this one so i just decided i didn't care at this point no worries that's fine <laughs> down here is uke 2 once again no effects on this listen i wouldn't do this now like i think you should really take care with all the recordings clearly i didn't and i think i just added an extra layer of ukulele to the second verse it looks like this is um fingerstyle bass again listen i just found this on garage band and then i think i just used keyboard typing i used this parallel earth piano for everything in this ep because i really like the sound it sounds like this it's really nice i used it across the whole ep so i think that i listen at least i have some semblance of like actually making things go together don't get the carpet all covered in mud i'm happy it seems like um again we have that parallel earth piano um which i just love so much also okay dark lo-fi piano i don't remember this but i think this is like adding in some little t you know twinkly things yeah and once again we're in natural vocal my favorite <laughs> thing in this one it looks like i've decided to just triple track the main vocal in logic you can like organize things a lot nicer um this is like kind of stressing me out because it's a bit chaotic i've triple tracked the main vocal and just done it the whole way through so there's three of my voices but i've done the same thing that i did last time where there's like middle left and right and it makes it sound super nice and then down here we have some like extra harmonies and as you can see left and right and then i added more here this is so simple this one there's like not a lot going on here. Given me at least. To be fair, famous said did, but that window looks so hell. You literally have given me a lease of life. Interlude was initially called Windowless Hotel. This starts with the um, recording of this voice note that my friend had sent me, which is here at the bottom. The keys part for this comes from a composition that I did in my third year of uni for my portfolio at the end. And I hated doing composition because I just wanted to write songs and I had to like actually sit and think about something that would make me look clever and smart and i hate doing that anyway i stole this from there because like i just thought it was nice there's not like too much happening here apart from making the vocals really echoey at the end and then also adjusting the levels of the original recording it's only like 30 seconds long but i love it um clearly i originally had some electric piano in here that i took out it happens no worries this is a first feeling this is seconds you can see here that there's like a lot more going on and maybe i was thinking a bit more about how to actually make a tr song that sounds good you see what i am saying here <laughs> here at the top we have the uke i put it on natural strum okay work in seconds i do these like harmonic little like triplets that happen and that's this and look who it is parallel earth piano listen i love her <laughs> she sounds so cool uh down here's the vocals i don't know once again why it's laid out this way i double tracked the whole thing and you can see here like how it's panned i remember like really struggling to work out how to recall clarinet correctly uh there is actually like clarinet like presets that I didn't realize that would probably have been useful but listen I don't really understand the EQ sometimes I just fiddle with it and hope it sounds nice <laughs> pretty much the way I did the clarinet is I like had to make it really quiet because I remember I could hear a lot of my breathing and then this is all the vocals but pretty much that's what seconds looks like what's with the summer feeling so these like tracks I just feel I should have deleted and I clearly didn't but look who it is parallel earth piano <laughs> and clarinti yeah I didn't double track the um the main vocals and there's only one layer of harmony I think what I like about this parallel earth piano is that it just it's kind of like a little bit mysterious and magical but not too much because that would be too crazy for me um that's tulips <laughs> that's everything in terms of like the recording is it wrong yes yes i'm doing it wrong <laughs>
maybe that's fun for you to see like the files and the projects um, of the songs of what they looked like before they were released. Mixing and mastering is something you should do. However, my first two songs that I made, Roadworks and Nobody Else to Call, were not mixed and mastered. They were recorded straight into GarageBand with this shitty little mic. Hello friends. Um, this is a voiceover because as I'm editing this, nothing I'm saying makes sense. But my general point here was that Essentially, I couldn't afford mixing and mastering because it can cost hundreds of pounds per song. So for this, I paid for like an online mix and master service from my distribution company, which is called DistroKid. And it cost me about a hundred pounds for like a unlimited mixing and mastering. It's definitely not as good as if somebody who was a person <laughs> had done it for me. So I do think that if you have the money, um, then mixing your song properly is a good idea. I couldn't do that this time and I think it was a good option because the songs, they sound okay. In all my future music, I plan to pay somebody to master for me, but again, if you don't have the money, you don't have the money. So this is another way to do it. Um, and I think it, they turned out pretty well. You can adjust a few things um, through the website, but pretty much it's like AI and it just figures out how to master and it does it for you. I really don't know how useful this was. I feel like I've just been nattering on at the camera for half an hour, but basically that's it. That's how I did it. <laughs> I hope this was maybe in some way useful. Please let me know if you are interested in anything else, if I've forgotten to say anything else. So upon editing this video, I realized I really didn't touch upon like actually releasing the music. So like promotion, release, and submitting it places, um, like trying to get people to listen, which to be honest is not my forte. Uh, I really struggled with that. Um, but, <laughs> um, and like the artwork and stuff. I guess we could make a part two. So if you wanna hear about that side of things, let me know. Once again, I can't promise my advice is gonna be any good or useful at all. Um, because I'm just figuring it out as much as I can. But anyway, back to me. It's not perfect. And maybe that's the biggest thing to learn is that um, sometimes you have to stop reaching for perfection and just be like, this is done now and I'm going to put it out. I guess that's kind of it. Um, this has been really fun. I hope it's fun to edit. It probably won't be. <laughs> I just miss like YouTube. I miss long form content. I miss content that you put effort into. I miss like not reaching for the next viral moment and the next viral sound. Um, what I'm trying to say is that I would quite like to make some more YouTube videos. So I guess if you have like ideas for me, what should I talk about? What should I make? Obviously I'm gonna make some songs, but uh, I guess we'll see. Thanks for watching uh, and yeah, see ya. Me to be fair, Famous said did, but that window looks so tall. You literally have given me a lease of life. That's <laughs>